Hi, my name is Faria Omar and in this video, we are going to discuss Chapter 2 Thermochemistry. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 2.2 Calorie Meter In this video, we are only going to discuss about definition heat capacity and specific heat capacity and question related to the heat capacity and specific heat capacity. So, first of all, heat capacity, the symbol is capital K C, and specific heat capacity, the symbol is small case C. So, let's see the definition. So, for heat capacity, the definition is the amount of heat required to raise temperature of a given quantity of substance by 1 Kelvin or 1 degree Celsius. Means that kalau di sini kita ada substance. For example, kalau saya ada a cube. Okay. So, berapa banyak haba, how many haba required to increase the temperature by 1 degree Celsius ataupun 1 Kelvin. Berapa banyak haba yang diperlukan untuk nak naikkan suhu substan saya 1 degree Celsius. Okay. So, uh, untuk specific heat capacity, the amount of heat required to raise temperature of 1 gram. Okay. So, kalau specific, dia punya nilai specific 1 gram. So, unit untuk heat capacity will be joule per degree Celsius. And untuk specific heat capacity, sebab dia dah 1 gram, so di sini dia ada per gram. Okay, so joule per gram per Kelvin or per degree Celsius. And this formula kena hafal. Okay, so formulanya adalah derived daripada formula Q. Okay, so saya akan explain formula ni sebentar lagi. And di sini, as you can see here, specific heat capacity of water, it, the value is 4.18, either the unit joule per gram per Kelvin or joule per gram per degree Celsius. So, kalau Kelvin atau per degree Celsius, the value still 4.18. Okay, so, yang ini adalah cons Turn, okay, dia akan diberi dalam soalan dan diberi semasa PSPM. Kalau semasa PSPM maksudnya di bahagian depan uh, soalan kamu. Okay, so uh, now heat. Okay, so bila you belajar tentang heat capacity and specific heat capacity, dalam ni as I told you, dia cerita tentang Q. Okay, so what is heat ataupun Q dia punya symbol okay it's a form of energy which flow from a hot body tempat panas to a cooler body ke tempat sejuk when the two are placed in thermal contact so haba tu mengalir daripada tempat yang panas ke tempat yang sejuk and the heat release is equal the heat absorbed so, Q release equal to Q absorb. So, ini sangat penting. Uh, this is what we call as keabadian tenaga. And this is the basic formula that we are going to use in calorie meter. Okay. So, now nak you nak cari Q. Okay. So, ada dua formula sama ada Q equal to MC delta T. Or Q equal to C delta T. Okay. Macam tadi, C adalah small capital case will be specific heat capacity. And C besar will be heat capacity. So, formula ni macam ni. 
Kalau kamu ada specific heat capacity of water, di sini mesti water. Kalau you ada specific heat capacity, for example, meter A, so di sini mesti mass untuk meter A. Okay, dia mesti sama. Kalau water, so this formula you highlight kan because this formula kena hafal and kena tahu guna. Okay. So now, macam mana nak guna, we tengok pada this example. Okay. So now, in this example, given to you a mass, 50 gram mass of metal was heated. So you ada 50 gram mass of metal was heated. So di sini, di sini adalah metal, dia adalah 50 gram was heated to 100 degree Celsius. Okay. And then, uh, plunk into 100 gram of water. So, dia akan dimasukkan ke dalam bekas yang ada 100 gram H2O and the temperature is 40, 24 degree Celsius. Okay. So, when the metal Imas in the water, dia punya akan jadi temperature dia akan berubah. Okay. So, dia akan jadi bila kita ada metal di sini, dia akan jadi 28 degree Celsius. Okay. So, means that apa yang berlaku di sini, apa yang berlaku ialah metal will uh, release heat. Okay, sebab temperature dia decrease from 100 degree Celsius to 28 degree Celsius. And for water, what happen? It will absorb heat because from 24 degree Celsius to 28 degree Celsius. The joules, joules will be referred to the Q. Did the water absorb? Okay, so Q ada dua formula. Uh, so, which one is more reliable? It will be this one. Sebab you ada specific heat capacity of water. So, Q equal to MC delta T. Okay, so Q mass will be 100. Uh, C will be 4.18 and then delta T will be 100 minus 20 sorry it will be not 100 it will be 28 minus 24 degree Celsius ok so now Q Q you akan dapat 1672 ok and the unit will be Joule. Okay. So, settle for question A. And then next for question B. How many joules did the metal absorb? Okay. So, now you akan pakai formula. Q release equal to Q absorb. Okay. So, Q absorb will be this one and equal to 1672 Joule. Okay. So, it will be 1672 Joule. Okay. And then next for question C, a specific heat capacity of the metal. Okay. Dia minta specific heat capacity of the metal. So now you can pakai formula specific heat capacity will be Q equal to MC delta T. Okay. So Q release kita tadi adalah 1672 mass will be 50 gram, ok yang ni tadi unit dia adalah joule C kita tak tahu kita let it be C and then delta C will be 100 
minus 28. Okay. So, now kita akan dapat nilai C. Okay, the value of C is 0.4644 and the unit will be uh, Joule uh, per gram per degree Celsius. What is the heat capacity of the metal? So, dia tanya heat capacity of the metal. So, heat capacity will be capital case. Okay. So, now you boleh pakai formula yang mana. So, you can choose this formula. C equal to CMC. So, you akan dapat untuk D C equal to M C, so this is your C 0.6444 equal to mass dia adalah 50 gram and then this one is C. So your C will be, so this is your C and the unit will be Joule per degree. Yes, yes. Okay. So, that's Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.